We are here in uh, IFA Berlin 2012. We are uh, hosted by Ayer in Ayer Booth. We are here with uh, René Aubertin, Ayer uh, uh, Europe CEO, and with uh, our guest uh, today, Marco Caruccio, he is a web marketing uh, uh, consultant, uh, an expert uh, in web marketing. He is working for several companies like Barilla, Ferrari, Maserati, after having been a leading uh, uh, manager for these companies. The topic today is how internet is influencing the relationship between corporations and consumers. We said no traditional consumers, we're talking about evoluted consumers, the consumers that we have labeled last year the blue generation consumers. These consumers have clear values and clear ideas about what they want from the corporation and through the internet they are able to influence more and more these corporations. René, before entering uh, the topic uh, any, anyway, uh, we met last year and uh, Hire is a, a big, uh, big company, uh, number one in the world, but it's still a young brand in Europe. How is it doing, uh, how is it uh, this last year gone? Thank you, thank you for your, your time. So, uh, first of all, what I would like to say is that uh, in Europe, Step by step, we are uh, improving, first of all, our products and our product lineup. Because even if we are number one in the world, we, we need to uh, have better products sticking to the customer demand in Europe. So we have made a lot of efforts in TV and even in some products like tablets or uh, cell phones to stick to the customer demand. And you can see in this booth that step by step, our product, cooling product, washing product, dishwasher, is more and more accepted by the, by the customer. So we have made a strong effort to be listed in, with all the main retailers in Europe. Of course, we are working with the click and mortar guys, we are working with pure player, and of course with traditional retailers. And now we think that we are on the way, we have improved a lot our market share. So we are on the way uh, to go in our target, which is to be in the top five in Europe. And uh, today, I think that uh, we are very successful, of course we have the economic crisis, but even with the economic crisis, our turnover is going a lot. We improved our product situation and what is important is that we improve our product mix to show to the people, to show to the customer, to show to the retailer that made in China doesn't mean low-end product, but means premium and high-end product, which is very important for sure. higher future. Marco, coming to the topic, uh, you have been a consultant for uh, important uh, consumer brands. Can you tell us, in your experience, uh, what is the impact of the internet in this relationship between uh, the end user and the corporation, the brand? First impact is that uh, in the past, the product has always been shown by uh, people in showrooms or in uh, stores. That means that most of the time, uh, people were talking about a brand without, without being part of the brand and it was very difficult for companies to train these people and talk in the most effective way about the brand and the products. The internet is a new frontier for companies to talk directly to consumers, so to tell the story, to tell the story of the brand, the products, and, uh, and on the other side, it's becoming a, an, an excellent instrument to listen to what I say and get suggestions, feedback in real time and um, it's a way to avoid the defects and the problem that usually the, the, the traditional distribution has in the relationship with the manufacturers. Let me ask a, a provocative question. Is it also a way, maybe this to you, René, is also a way to bypass retailers to some, to some extent? I mean, retailers are going to be there and are going to be there for the future. It's a new channel. Yes, probably the internet will still some space to other channels because it is a new challenge on the game but it's not gonna kill it and 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 you have the proof because um yes the e-commerce is performing very well europe-wide worldwide uh, but at the same time um, the retail channel is still doing good so it it will not change the game that much it, it is going to be a very important part of the uh, distribution strategy, companies to be aware of that, but that's all. And um, consumers are taking information on the internet and going to buy uh, on traditional stores. So uh, companies should work on that side and, and be aware of that. For me, you know, it's, internet is not a matter to bypass the retail. Uh, if, if industry like us, we sell directly with our own website on internet, 
here we will bypass the retail. But yeah. this is not the case. We don't want. This is not my job. This is not my sure. business. So internet is now a new a new channel. But like it was in the past. In the past, uh, when I entered this business 30 years ago, there was only small, uh, what we call a papa mama shop. After we opened to hypermarket, we opened to multi specialists like Media Mark, like Darty, like Comet, and now we open to internet. I think it's a new channel. Of course, internet will increase, but one day, all the channel will take their own part because internet gives today a very good service for product information, sure. which is not the case. And the retailers who today are performing very well are the retailers where you can receive very good information for, for, on the product from the salesman. And that's why the people today, they are very uh, confident with internet because they receive a fair information. Yes, that, that, that was in fact my point. I mean, I was not thinking about bypass the retailer in terms of sales, but surely in terms of information that you can gather from the end user. Because, you know, a few years ago, before the internet, the manufacturer did not see the end user. Of course. Because yeah. they has the retailer uh, in between. Yeah. Today, the manufacturer can speak yeah. directly to the consumer and can gather it is, the it data. Is shortening, it is shortening the, 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 the channel for sure. Um, we'll, we will see because probably in the future the retailer will understand that and will compete against the internet on this information exchange. So probably in the future retailers will be uh, easier for manufacturers to gather information from retailers. Now I see worldwide is, is a worldwide war from manufacturing to getting information from the retailers is still... For, for us and, and higher is very important to receive a quick, quick feedback. That's why we have invested a lot in the internet with our, uh, our website, with uh, our Facebook. Uh, Facebook, uh, today we have a lot of fans on Facebook and we receive a lot of information from the, from the fans about product, feedback, uh, what is the customer needs. So for us it's very, very important not to have this. Because normally, if you go through the retailer, it takes ages to receive one yeah. information, and even sometimes information is, can I say, some, sometimes wrong. You don't know if you can trust the information. Of course, because it's business. Yeah. So, uh, it's normal, it's business. But now, through internet, we see very fair information, mainly on new products that we want to launch, and this is very important for us. And, um, well, Jean Grimin has crafted a business model uh, which uh, insists very much on proximity to customers. Yeah. How do you implement this model in Europe? You know, w what is important is that we give to the people directly in contact with the customer maximum resource. In that today, our company for sales, for logistics, for after sales, and the people connected on the, on the website, we try to give to make the maximum resource to receive the feedback and to take the quick decision. We don't need to make a report to uh, hierarchy, N plus one, N plus two, N plus three. The, these people, we give the resource for them to react very quickly. That's what we want to implement today. So we try to give to them uh, some resource every month, every week, every year to be very, very reactive, not waiting that the boss will give the green light to in, uh, Inverted triangle logic. Something like that, something like that. Okay, Marco. Um, in your experience, uh, what do customers exactly want to share with, uh, with the corporations? First, we need to talk about different profiles of uh, customers. There are some customers who are willing to listen, but are not willing to give feedback or, or participate in processes of uh, product development. But there are some customers, especially in certain countries, and especially the young generation, who wants to be part of that. The blue generation is, is, is exactly uh, the profile we are talking about. So they want to be involved in, the, in all the aspects of the product. They want to give feedback. They want to even change the way you use the instruments. Sometimes they discover new ways of using um, an application or, or um, a tablet or a telephone. And, um, and companies can learn a lot about that. Uh, uh, not many companies are ready to do that. I'm very um, excited and thrilled about what Hire is doing on that. And, and it's also very interesting to see the effects. I mean, in the past, there has been companies trying to do that. But Marco, you, you have worked for a, a, a lot of uh, um, car uh, yeah. corporations. How can this you know, be true in the, for, a, for a car manufacturer? But right now, car manufacturer, I, be, I believe they are the leading 
business on talk with customers and especially the high brand for example uh, Ferrari started in uh, 2001 uh, so we're talking about 11 years ago uh, with a website exclusively dedicated to people owning a Ferrari and with a CRM uh, process of profiling learning and talking with them uh, people uh, completely dedicated to the relationship with the customers. There was a team of 20 people uh, dedicated to that and, uh, and it was very interesting because it allowed to create uh, a sort of personal intimate relationship between the brand and, and the customers. Uh, in a way Ferrari is a quite easy example because the brand is so strong that this intimate relationship in a way was already there. For Maserati, for example, was difficult, but it performed in the same way. Maserati was uh, uh, in at the beginning of 2000, 2001, was uh, a brand which went through uh, very difficult periods with uh, strikes and company problems from financial point of view. Uh, Ferrari re-established the financial uh, situation in a proper way and we built processes on creating this one-to-one -one relationship. But it's not a question of technology, it's not a question of systems, it's a question of uh, mindset of the people, culture of the company, and it's a question of having the right processes within the company. René, uh, what is the situation uh, for hire in Europe? I mean, do you talk to customers? Do they give valuable insights? What is important for us through mainly our uh, Facebook network, we have a very strong Facebook network, and that's, we receive the feedback from the customer, but not only for what is negative. Because when you have normally with the retail partners, retail partners, they give you the feedback about the call rate, what we call the call rate. Call rate is that the product does not work. Okay, this we need, but we need more. Yes. And what is on the internet, we receive only the feedback of the customer. Customer that says, oh, uh, we turn the button, uh, it's okay, it's not okay. The color, we open the door. So some very small details that you will never receive through the normal way to receive the feedback. And for me, it's very important. We receive information about color variation. We leave information about a lot of things that will never come through the normal. And our social network is very important for us to keep in touch every day, every week with our customer base. Very important. Let, let me ask you a couple of uh, final questions. The first one is uh, how about managing uh, end user expectations? Because one risk that I can see is that the expectation can become very, very high. For, yep. And, for, and yep. therefore, you know, you have to maintain your promises, yes. which is very demanding. How, yes. how do you cope with this? Uh, you know, uh, the, this is a good question, but uh, when we begin this story about internet, a lot of guys say to me, oh, René, uh, it will be tough because we lack a lot of requests. But if we have a lot of requests, it means that we have success. And the more I receive, uh, more I receive uh, requests, the more I'm happy. And, the, and even if one day I have to put one, two, three more headcounts to do this, that will be the sign that we have success. So all the requests that we receive, everything we need, today we have one guy at the European level and one guy in all countries able to, to manage this internet relation. As a, and I think that it's very good that we have a lot, a lot, of, and I will be very happy to have thousands, thousands of uh, questions every day. Sure. So this is for me the sign, not that uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a threat, it's a very strong opportunity. I'm very happy about this. Last question for both of you, Marco first. Uh, uh, one thing that has, you know, I, I cannot really understand is how can you discriminate between uh, networks uh, of uh, uh, consumers? I mean, how can you uh, really understand, you know, which are the most important, uh, which are the most uh, um, valuable insights and which are the most, uh, uh, I cannot say, hurt consumers with respect to those that are less important? If, if it is important to discriminate consumers. Let's say that it's important to discriminate at the end of the process, at the end of the flow. First, you tend to gather all the information and, uh, and filter. Uh, one of the uh, leading arguments in this period is uh, social CRM. So being able to apply uh, 
processes of customer relationship management to people that are talking social or are talking on the web. That means that you profile, you see how much they talk, they interact with the brand, and you start building a sort of uh, hit list of the themes, arguments, products, and, and people. Um, but that is a learning, there's, there's a learning curve on that, and uh, it's important to start. And, and I believe Hire already started this process, which is, again, exciting. Not many companies are doing that. And uh, for sure, it will, it will lead to a very important um, way of being in the social world and in the networks. Then everything else is mostly techniques. Uh, it's not strategy, it's just techniques and application. Yeah, there's a lot of application helping on doing that, and there's a lot of techniques on profiling. And, um, and using those data in the proper way. René, do you, do you discriminate among uh, different consumers depending who they are, if they are already customers, if they are potential customers? Of course, because the, the customer profile is very important. So we know that through uh, Facebook, first of all, we, have, uh, we are mainly in touch with people who are young people, but more and more now it's open to everybody. So it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a theoretical point of view that only the young people, they go through internet. This is wrong, totally wrong. So uh, today, I think that, of course, we were in touch with what we call the trendsetter, who are the early birds who wants. But now, more and more, we are, we are in touch with what I call more traditional people. Uh, what is important for us is that we keep in touch with the young generation. Because the, uh, I'm old, I'm old man, but uh, the old generation is a traditional, but more and more the young generation are more open on the world and that's they understand that something is coming from uh, other, other countries. So for me, first of all, it was important to, to keep in touch with the trendsetter, after the young people, and after step by step, we begin to touch some traditional guy, which is very important for, for us as well. So for me, the profile is very, very large and open. Of course, we need to select the way we speak to them. For instance, if you make a game on Facebook and that there's some goodies to win, you just speak to young people. After, if you want to speak to more trendsetters, you need to speak about design, you need to speak about something like that. And you want to speak with traditional guy, you need just to have some, like you say, some CRM relation. That's it, no more, no less. Okay, well, thank you very much to both of you. Thank I you. think it was a thank you. very thank interesting, you, uh, very thank you. interesting thank you very talk. Much. We learned something. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.